Forgiveness Next Door is a short film about a man on a journey to find what he's putting all his hope in, which is redemption and clarity in some sins of his past. The creative process has been a very interesting one. The script first started off as an adaptation of my, uh, my buddy Kevin Beagley's uh, guided vocals. It was a couple of scenes from a mob film and I took that and I added in the elements of redemption and forgiveness. After I got done writing the script, I needed someone who I felt was really going to get the visuals out on, on the screen. And the only person that I felt at the time was able to do that was uh, Ryan Spicone, who was my DP for this film. After talking with him, I, I got in contact with one of my buddies, uh, Eric Salberg, uh, who was the producer for this film. And pretty much uh, I pitched the film to him and he was on board. Sound. I'm Eric Selberg. I'm the producer for Forgiveness Next Door. From the beginning, when Salomon first pitched me the idea, I had read the script, and the script definitely was uh, pretty moving. I had told him there was a couple things I wanted him to change, so we went through a couple drafts. And after a couple drafts, I read it again, and we seemed like we were ready to shoot. It was quite a process from getting a good team together, figuring out what we were going to spend our money on, we got the right team. Everyone that helped out was a big help. You know, production was pretty stressful. We went through a lot of stressful ups and downs, but ultimately we finished uh, filming, you know, half the film, and what we got was amazing. Action John. I feel very blessed to have worked with the actors that I did. It was such a smooth process um, working with them and working with the G&E crew who were also amazing at the jobs that they were doing. Uh, we got a lot done during the production phase. We were doing things that professionals do on a professional level that we as young uh, uh, filmmakers are perfecting and we learned a lot from this process. When Solomon first came to me with this idea, I had told him there's no way that we could finish this film on the budget that we had, but there was also no way I was going to walk away from such a powerful script and we had to get what we got done. The amount of production value put into what little budget we did have is incredible. We both decided that we needed to shoot what we could and get what we could done. We got a lot done during the first principal shoot dates. Everything that we wanted to get done got done. We still have about half of the script to shoot and we're trying to get that done. In addition, we also want to edit the film uh, and it's 35 so it costs a little more to edit on that format. Basically what we want to do is take the film and submit it to as many film festivals as possible and we are very confident that it will win some awards. What I want people to take away from this film is that there is a such thing as second chances. Upon completion of Forgiveness Next Door we hope that we give the audience not only our director's message of forgiveness but also just a genuinely good film. My name is Solomon Adekali. I'm the director of Forgiveness Next Door and any donation, no matter how small or big, will be greatly appreciated by me and my production crew and know that every single cent will be used in a way that is going to further Forgiveness Next Door to what I believe is its true potential um, out there in the film world.